Hi guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy February, happy Black History Month. If you are new here, I did these videos all last year and you guys really seem to like them and I enjoy filming them just because it keeps me productive and motivated to hit all my goals for this year. So I figured it would be great to bring it back for this year as well. I didn't end up filming a January reset video because I had just posted my 2023 video and I didn't want to be super repetitive. So I figured I would just like start the official monthly resets in February. So. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna go over my January goals, do a little quick recap of the month, talk about my February goals. And I did wanna answer some questions that you guys had left me in a previous video. I didn't get a chance to answer those, so we're gonna answer those today. First of all, I did wanna say thank you to everyone who reached out and left me a sweet comment on my community post. I had mentioned that I wasn't feeling well. I got sick again, I swear. It just keeps happening. I don't know what's going on, but I appreciate your guys' patience and understanding for the lack of uploads in January. That definitely was not my intention or my goals, but things happen and I can't really control whenever I'm gonna get sick or not. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys for just always being so understanding and patient with my crazy sicknesses and life in general, but I am feeling a lot better. I don't really know what it was. I just had a weird cough and I didn't have any other symptoms, so who knows, but I do have a doctor's appointment uh, the first week of February so hopefully we can get some answers as to what's going on maybe I need to add some more vitamins to my routine or whatever it may be but yeah just thank you guys so much for always being so nice okay so a quick recap on January it seems like every year January is like my least favorite month I think because you get the high of like a new year new year new me same me whatever you decide to do but i feel like the hype of the new year just kind of dies immediately in january and it always feels so long like i just feel like january just drags on so long so it's never my favorite month the only thing that happened in january that was like exciting was i did get invited to go to a museum out here in phoenix so labelle and i did like a little cute date day out of it basically it's an interactive museum inside of scottsdale fashion square mall and it was a lot of fun it took us about like 30 minutes maybe they go through it and you kind of are on like your own throughout the whole museum they have a bar as soon as you walk in so you can enjoy a drink and walk around the mall and just interact with all of the art pieces they notice that every six to eight weeks the art pieces get rotated out so i would love to go back in a couple weeks to see what's new because we had a lot of fun i did hang out with some of my friends this month it was my friend's birthday so we celebrated her i saw one of my other friends that i haven't seen in a very long time the violin came back so i've been binging that such a good season so far i love it i love this season's cast and then I got sick, so <laughs> my month kind of ended short, but overall it was a pretty chill month. Hopping into my goals, I'm going to be reading it off my iPad and I will have it up on the screen for you guys. First things first, social. Post four YouTube videos and daily TikTok uploads besides for Sundays. Obviously I didn't post four YouTube videos, I think I only got one, which was my um home gym which i haven't even got to talk about with you guys at all i did film a night routine video that's going to go up after this video so you guys will see me working out in there but i love it so much it's been really nice did not upload but it was out of my control something i'm really trying to work on is to not be so hard on myself this year so we're okay and then daily tiktok uploads i did upload besides sundays so that's my day to take off right now tiktok has this really cool trend where you can do like days in your life night in your life morning in your life whatever type of routine video in photos so that has been so helpful in the daily uploads for me for tiktok um i do want to switch it up a little bit for tiktok this month but we'll talk about that when we get to my february goals for personal goals i wanted to finish november 9 and do my nighttime routine every night so i finally finished november 9 you guys i am a hater of this book i i don't think it's the book's fault though i feel like i've read so many colleen hoover books that i'm just over the sappy teenage like boy girl or boy meets girl type of story i'm just not into it anymore i feel like if i would have read this in my early colleen hoover days i would have liked it a lot more but with that being said i do like the twists i think there was like two twists in it or like plot twists in the books i liked both of them i thought they were great i just think that it took so long to get there for me and i was struggling already to finish the book so it didn't help that I was already not liking so I'm happy to be done with that book finally. Next goal was to do my nighttime routine every night, which I did do. Health and fitness goals. I wanted to work out four times a week, do sadio, sadio, <laughs> do Saturday cardio days, and play tennis with Lebeau once a week. So I only did the workout part of this goal. 
Saturday cardio days. For some reason, all of our Saturdays got booked up and so we just never had the chance to go, but we are putting it on our calendars and being very disciplined to get it done this month. We actually did do one Saturday cardio day this week. So we did one this month, but we're gonna try every Saturday for February and then play tennis with the low once a week. Did not get to do that. Lastly, for financials, I wanted to save a specific amount, but I did not get to do that because other bills came up. And then I wanted to leave my debit card at home and use my spending account only, which I did. I actually did really good with my spending account this month and then follow my budget, which I did. Those are my goals for January. Overall, pretty good month besides what, four of them that I didn't get to, which is totally okay. Hopping right into February goals. We're gonna start with social. I want to post for YouTube videos. I feel like I have neglected my YouTube channel for far too long and I just need to get it done. It would be amazing if I could get an extra video in there, maybe five or six videos, but because I haven't been consistent with posting four, I want to nail down four before I get ahead of myself. So four YouTube videos this month, we are going to hit it. <laughs> I will also want to post more structured TikTok videos. I've gotten down posting daily on TikTok and I found a good system that works for me. So now I want to focus on posting more like structured videos. I want people to know what they're getting out of my channel when they pop onto my page. I want to figure out what my audience likes. So that's my goal for TikTok this month. Continue to post every day like I have been, but maybe be more structured with my daily posting. And then the last one is to engage with more creators. Personal goals, I wanna finish one book. I wanna start a new book and have a self-care night slash day once a week. I'm currently reading The Perfect Marriage, which I love. I <laughs> love it so much. It's so good, it's so intense. It's honestly like, it's so hard to put down. I put it down just because it'll be like one in the morning and I'm like, I need to go to bed before I I'm not able to wake up for work at the next day. It has like 64 chapters, but they're all really tiny chapters. And I think I'm on 20 right now. So I'm very confident that I'm gonna finish it probably within the week. And so that's why I put finish a book and then start a book. I do have a book in mind that I wanna start reading. It's called After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read two of her books already. I've read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I've also read One True Loves, which if you guys have not read that book, you need to read that book. It was so good and blew my mind, but I want to read another one of her books because I just love her as an author. Hopefully I can start that one this month and then finish The Perfect Marriage. And then self-care night slash day once a week. I was actually inspired by one of my YouTube friends, Alex, here on YouTube. I will leave her channel down below. I think she made a TikTok about having like a self-care night and it just inspired me to really try and do one of these nights. And it could be something so simple like a bath, a face mask. She just inspired me to prioritize self-care. So thank you, Alex, if you're watching. <laughs> and then moving into health and fitness, I want to track my protein daily and Saturday cardio days. So for my fitness journey, I have always tracked my calories as an overall, but the more that I'm learning, the more that I am realizing how important protein is over overall calories because i want to gain weight and gain muscle i really need that protein now i'm not a personal trainer i'm not a nutritionist so i could be totally wrong but that's just what i have found just to prepare i figured out my like specific protein goal for my goals and made a meal plan based off of that goal so i'm excited to track that and see how that works for me and then i did put saturday cardio days on here as much as i hate doing cardio and treadmill and stair masters and all of that it is so important for my health heart health is very important to me and i just I want to be better at getting in my cardio days. So we're going to stick to it. We're going to get it done. Last section is financial. So I want to save $300. I want to buy one clothing item only or none and have a no spending week. In order to hit my end of the year savings goal, I thought it was best to break it down each month and save what I can that month to hit that goal at the end of the year. So this month I'm gonna save $300 just because we have a lot of other things going on in February. So I'm being realistic with how much I will actually be able to save. Buy one clothing item. I put this here because Realistically, I am gonna shop. I'm gonna buy something miscellaneous, something that I don't need. Um, honestly, I should put like buy one item or one order of something. Cause let's say if I wanna shop on Amazon, I can get like a bunch of stuff and it may not be closed. Yeah, we'll, we'll say buy one order, like place one order on a website and that's it. If I can do none and not spend any money at all, that would be great. But realistically, 
I want to start buying myself something and not punish myself for spending money. So one is good. One order of something is good. And then have a no spending week. I want to attempt this. I just figured it would be a lot of fun to try and test myself to see if I can go a whole week without spending any money at all besides for like groceries and stuff. So it would just be like no random spending on clothes miscellaneous things amazon target for a whole week so that was my goal for february i'm actually really excited for february february is lavelle's birthday and i feel like i outdid myself this year with what we're doing for his birthday he has no idea so i'm really happy i definitely think i pulled it off pretty well and then um it's also valentine's day we don't really do anything super special for valentine's day so probably just do a cute date night at home because going out on valentine's day just seems like such stress and hassle and i don't want to deal with the crowds around that time but i am going to do like a valentine's day with one of my friends so that'll be fun i enjoy february it's very short and i feel like once we hit february the rest of the year just flies by so yeah looking forward to this month and whatever else we get into hopefully no sicknesses no more sickness <laughs> for the rest of the year so something new i wanted to do this year with my monthly resets and kind of test it out to see how we like it is to include my monthly budget it'll also kind of keep me on track with not spending a lot of money because if i'm sharing how much i'm spending it's kind of like dang you're spending a lot of money and you guys can also keep me in check to stop spending so much so this is what my budget looks like i got it off of etsy it is another youtuber's template her name is kaylin kebler i think that's her last name i don't know if i'm pronouncing that wrong i apologize if i am but she has a really cool etsy template for her budget and i bought it i will leave it linked down below if you guys are interested i pretty much already set it up based on like things that i'm going to be spending and my bills so the bills section of my budget remains the same every single month nothing changes and also lavelle and i split all the bills so rent is going to be 803 dollars my car payment is 231 utilities is 118 my phone actually went up i think it's 50 dollars now if i'm correct yeah my phone bill is actually 59.74 now so a little bit extra car insurance is 60.94 and wi-fi is 60 dollars and then for groceries i budgeted 300 dollars which is just my half it looks like it's a lot but Obviously, everyone knows groceries are really expensive right now. Since Lavelle and I are on like a fitness journey trying to gain muscle weight, we are spending a lot more on food, but hopefully we won't hit the full 300. We also have changed our grocery shopping method. We're doing Costco for like all of the meats, so all the bulky things. And then we go to Target weekly just to get like the sides and the ingredients to go with our meals for each week so hopefully that saves us some money we did just do a costco trip restaurants i budgeted 150 because i do know that for luel's birthday he'll probably want to go somewhere and um the date night that i have with my friend and then any other random eating out restaurant things that pop up because it probably will description is also something that stays the same so 106 30 gas 50 dollars for the whole month which has been so nice thanks to working from home i no longer pay for a gym membership so zero dollars miscellaneous shopping which is like clothing amazon target anything that's random shopping i gave myself a hundred dollars to spend i gave myself fifty dollars to spend for self-care just because i want to do my hair this week so i have to make a run to the beauty supply store hopefully it doesn't cost fifty dollars i'm i don't i haven't been to the beauty supply store in a very 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 long time so i don't really know the cost of things anymore but i'd rather over budget than under budget and then gifts i did 55 dollars just because i have a couple more things that i want to get lavelle i put 80 dollars in other but i honestly don't remember what this other is so i'm just going to take that off and then outings and date nights i put 50 dollars just in case we go to like an arcade bar or we go I don't know some random place that isn't just a restaurant and then just to show you guys like a little bit deeper into my budget every sunday i'll come in here and i will fill in what i've spent so far in the month so i do need to go back in this and change this all to february i will come in here and update this with what i've spent so if i put something in this section so let's say i go to a restaurant and i spent 50 bucks on this side it's going to show that i've spent in my actual area 50 dollars out of my 150 so i have 100 dollars left to spend in my restaurant budget i really like this template because everything is connected and she really sets up everything for you you do not have to do anything besides plug in your own numbers and things so 
super super nice and then she also has a section here for your income stream once i plug in my income it'll all calculate down here and show like the actual amount of money that i have left to spend and my total for the month so for february i'm budgeting one thousand three hundred thirty three dollars and eighty nine cents in bills expenses eight hundred sixty one dollars and thirty cents so fingers crossed it's a lot less the bills are a little harder because i can't really change those bills but my expenses I have complete control over so I will try my best to not spend a bunch of money on random things this month like I mentioned earlier I did want to answer a couple more questions that I got from you guys last month I feel like anytime I do a QA, and a I get this question it is relationship advice for young couples first of all thank you for even asking me for advice <laughs> maybe that means I'm doing something right in mine something that Lavelle and I have like put as a forefront in our relationship is just talking to each other whether it's like a tough conversation or you don't know how to approach your partner with the conversation communication is always number one for us and at the end of the day you know your goal is to get better and get through this issue or whatever it may be so whatever you guys need to do whatever steps you need to take to get there do those things something i learned from my best friend actually is never letting the honeymoon phase die lavelle and i have been together for almost 10 years so naturally the honeymoon phase will eventually go away but seeing my friend and her girlfriend like always dating each other and not letting the honeymoon phase die like it's inspiring us to continue to do that in a relationship because the longer you're together the faster that honeymoon phase is going to fizzle out but it doesn't have to like entirely so i would say like my top two are communication and never stop dating each other next question is have you guys ever thought about getting a pet so yes and no yes because obviously i would love to have a dog and love to raise something and have a companion and just like that unconditional love i would love that but we are such like a go 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 com company <laughs> we are such a go 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 couple we're always on the move we are traveling so much this year and next year so realistically it just wouldn't be a good environment for a dog and when i get one i would love to be here all the time give it everything it needs and just be more like available and i'm not right now but i would obviously love to get one later down the line maybe but i have no plans on getting a dog right now i need to bounce off of those two questions the next question is i love your relationship you guys are the cutest together any plans to expand your family in the future first of all thank you for the compliments but plans to expand our family in the future so if you would have asked me this a year and a half ago i would have said yes because i full wholeheartedly thought that i was going to be pregnant last year <laughs> but obviously that changed and it's not happening to answer your question in a short form yes we do when i have no idea i am 26 i turned 27 this year lavelle is also turning 27 this year so we're still very young we're in our later 20s but we're just enjoying our 20s right now and we just moved into this house i want to enjoy this house before we have a kid and it's all, also only three bedrooms so i would love to have four or five bedrooms so that both lavelle and i can keep our offices and then our kid can have another room we've also talked about the idea of never having kids so it's kind of up and down right now but i think eventually we will have kids it's just a matter of when but honestly i'm very happy that we didn't because traveling has been so much fun lately it's just crazy because literally a year ago i thought i was going to be a mom and here i am not a mom whatsoever <laughs> next question is one of your tiktoks went viral how does it feel so if you don't follow me on tiktok i did have a tiktok video hit 1.3 million which is insane to say out loud because I don't know it's just crazy that a, a million people watched my video it's kind of uncomfy but um it was really cool when i was making it i was like Ugh, this video is gonna just be so crappy because it just wasn't going how i wanted it to go and then once i finished editing it i showed lavelle and he was like oh yeah this one's gonna be it and i was like no i don't think so it's just boring whatever it's a video of me fixing my shower head because it fell i also showed my dad it and he was like cool <laughs> because it's just like why would something like that go viral but yeah it was really cool next is how do you stay so consistent with posting on tiktok and along with youtube so i feel like for me it's just planning i heavily use my notion to decide what i'm gonna film what i'm gonna post that week obviously january was not a good representation of 
juggling the both but in previous months i've done really good with juggling both if i need to jot down like talking points or shots that i want to get that way it's pre-planned pre already before and then i can just throw in whatever else i want i pick the song i want to use for my tiktoks and i just make sure that everything is like set up for me so lots of planning i know what i'm gonna film like a week in advance so when it's time to film like all expectations are there the plan is there the, the song is picked out for me and discipline discipline is the biggest thing because i can plan all day but if i'm not disciplined enough I'm not gonna film anything. Lots of people asked about the house. The house is amazing, I love it. It literally is a dream come true. I feel like this house was made for us. If you guys are new here and haven't watched any of my moving vlogs, this house was on the market since March of last year and we moved in in September. So from March to September, nobody moved into this house. I just thought it was the universe's way of telling me that this was our house. And every day since moving in, I've just been so happy. It's just so beautiful. We love our neighborhood. Our neighborhood, our neighbors are so nice. It's just, it's perfect. So I love it a lot. And I plan on staying here until they kick us out or until we can buy a house. Okay, that was all the questions that I did not get to answer yet. So thank you guys for asking me questions as always. I always get so scared to post Q&A boxes because you just never know if you're going to get any questions at all. So yeah, thank you guys for always sending me some questions. That's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys like seeing my budget. It's something new that I'm trying. I'm not really sure. I always get kind of weirded out with like sharing money on on the internet but if you guys like it let me know i enjoy watching people's budgets in their monthly reset videos so yeah i figured i would try it out if there's anything else that you guys want me to include in these monthly videos let me know i want to know what your guys's goals are this month so leave me some of your goals and intentions and something you're looking forward to this month if you would like to make sure you subscribe on your way out and i will see you guys in the next video I'm thinking of, now I'm thinking of, why the cottage won't close, yeah.